This one is called Esprit d'Escalier, which is a French term meaning a spirit of the staircase. And what they mean by that is if two people are talking at a party and one says something witty, and you'd like to say something witty back, but you can't think of it, you only think of it later as you're going up the stairs, and you think, I wish I had said that. So that's the basis of it, things you'd wish you had said. And this begins with something which I sometimes find myself doing, which is to talking to myself, and I'm thinking hard. And one day I was on a bus, and there was somebody up ahead of me in the upper deck, and he was talking to himself. So I kind of imagined what would happen if suddenly everybody on the bus was talking to themselves. And you got off the bus and everybody in the street was talking to themselves. So this is called Esprit d'Escalier. Suddenly there we all were, talking together, but not to each other. It might have been I who had started it, muttering as I do to myself, or rather to a figure to whom I have something to say in the manner known as l'esprit de l'escalier, that ghostly meeting on the staircase with a person already past meeting, for whom we now have an altogether brilliant answer, one we have always known, but had failed to produce when required. And now I and the others were talking, all of us, to whom it would finally concern us to talk to, as we do, each day on the bus, knowing just what to do and to say at this and every other such meeting. There were friends, fears, ghosts and past selves whom each of us had to answer, all of us speaking together, every which one a distinct and separate I, in a world where everything has always been known. The air was packed solid with voices we had once known or were ours. It was hard to tell which. Or how do you tell the inner from the outer, or distinguish the I from the not-quite I? And soon each intimate meeting had spilled onto the street, all voices singing together to make one thundering chorus, each who with its whom, in doorways, on staircases, singing to whomsoever could hear and respond to the known or unknown harmonies we were producing, as if we were together. We were ghosts. We were dead. There was little to do but to listen and sing and be dead and be meeting each ghost on its staircase. And so it was I, myself, spoke to the dead ones within me, since I was their only voice, the lost hum of their whom. It was crazy, this sound. The music of meeting all of them now there on the bus, having known only the steps to the top deck, knowing what to do only in emergencies, when we're all thrown together and have to make do as we are. No matter with whom we travel or have known, these voices with their I, their you, their singing together at each and every meeting. <laughs>